Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, hey, Calvary, thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. Great to have you tuning in as we look at Psalm chapter 136. We are drawing near to the end of our time in Psalms. I hope this has been an encouragement. I hope it's prompted you to worship. I hope it's helped you connect to God in prayer and time with Him in a deeper way. Uh, And really, I hope that it's helped you worship the Lord better with your life. And uh, maybe in song, uh, in church, maybe it's just with the the day-to-day time that you have with the Lord. And and I love Psalm 136. It takes us to a place of of just overt worship. And uh, maybe as I read a few of the lines here, you'll think of some songs uh, that, uh, that you've heard that have been inspired based on this. But Psalm 136 opens with this. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of God for His steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords for His steadfast love endures forever. There's 26 verses here in Psalm 136, and and in each of these verses it's broken up that a phrase is given, and then the refrain is, for His steadfast love endures forever. 26 times we're reminded that His steadfast love endures forever. It talks about how he is God and how he is big and powerful and he is the the one true God with the constant refrain, his steadfast love endures forever. It talks about how he's created everything. He is the Lord of all creation. He spoke and brought everything that we have into existence because his steadfast love endures forever. It talks us through the the history of, of the nation of Israel and God's people throughout time and how God worked and provided miracles and showed up in mighty ways for him because his steadfast love endures forever. It talks about how God rescues and redeems his people because his steadfast love endures forever. And I love this passage because it reminds us, this fact may surprise you, but his steadfast love endures forever. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we're facing in our life, whatever life throws our way, whatever difficulties and trials, we know that God's love endures forever. Nothing that we encounter changes the fact that God has love for those of us who call Him our Lord and Savior. And and, uh, on the other side of that, we also understand that no matter what we do, uh, no matter what our sin and rebellion looks like, if we come before the Lord and confess and surrender our life to Jesus and, and call upon salvation in the name of the Son of God and Savior of the world, and we commit our life to Him, His steadfast love endures forever. We may wander, we may fail and fall short over and over again, but His steadfast love endures forever. And there's a reason for the fact that God's love is so often highlighted in the book of Psalms because it's powerful. It's what guided every decision and every action from him. Even the action to send his son Jesus to save us was because of his love for us and his desire for our relationship with him to be reconciled because his steadfast love endures forever. Let me encourage you today. To, to read through these 26 verses. And don't rush through it. We can sit, and if we're on our phone with the Bible app, we can kind of just breeze through it. If we're you know, in the, the, a physical Bible, we can just kind of buzz down through those verses. But slow down. Read each of these verses. Reflect on each of the statements of why God's love endures forever that are listed here in Psalm 136. And let that encourage your soul. And encourage you that the God we follow has everlasting and steadfast love for us. And he's continually seeking to live that out and to help us, to guide us back to right relationship with him because his steadfast love endures forever. I hope that you're encouraged today. I hope that you take some time to reflect on how God's love is steadfast in your life. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.